Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dinah. Today we're making chicken divan. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Gonna taste good, I know. I'm so glad you're joining me in my kitchen today. We're making chicken divan. It's one of those wonderful wintry casseroles. It's got a green vegetable, a protein, and in my version, I give it a hint of curry. So I hope that you try this and enjoy it. The first thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees. So Chicken Devon has kind of a, a, a bunch of layers. And the first thing is a 16 ounce bag. I use just frozen broccoli. If you have fresh, that's okay. You wanna steam it until it's just tender crisp because we're going to bake it again in the oven and you don't want to totally turn it to mush. So I've got st some on my stove. I simmered um, and because it is frozen, it's just kind of thawed and it is still pretty crispy, but it's going to bake again in the oven. So let's grab that. And here I have a greased nine, I think it's what, 11? 11 by seven baking dish and I've greased it. So we're just gonna put the whole broccoli in the bottom. Spread it out a little. So that's our first layer. And you can see it's steaming hot, which is just fine. Then our next is a creamy gooey mixture. We're gonna add the chicken in. We got one cup of mayonnaise. And we have one can of cream, of cream of chicken soup. I'm also gonna put in about a teaspoon of lemon juice. That really brightens the whole dish. I just kind of give it a squirt in there. And then a half a teaspoon of curry. Now, if you happen not to like curry, and I'm just using the little yellow curry powder you get from the grocery store. If you don't like curry, feel free to leave this out, but it gives it the most delicious depth of flavor. And I actually add a little more than a half a teaspoon because we really like it. So add some curry in. I'm gonna stir this up. And then we're gonna add our chicken in. This also really makes a great freezer meal. You can make it ahead if you want meals, your, your meal planning for the week. You can just make it and stick it in the fridge until you're ready to bake it for your dinner. All right, so we've got that mixed up. Then we're gonna add about three cups of cooked chicken. And this is just some rotisserie I had. You can leave it in big chunks. If you've got thighs or breasts already cooked, just chunk them up to bite-sized pieces. So we're gonna add that in. And I mean that some of them are big pieces. We're gonna rip it up just a little bit. And this is still a little frozen. I had, had this in the freezer. Okay, so give this a good mix. Okay, now we're gonna layer this on top of the broccoli. And I kind of divide it up because it's a little hard to spread because it's a little chunky. My favorite fan. Then you just kind of want to spread it out as evenly as you can with this chunks of chicken in there. So on top of this, we're gonna put a half a cup or so of cheese, and I'm just using the Costco blend here. A couple handfuls. You don't want it super heavy, but you definitely want cheese. It's so good. So you got chicken, broccoli, cheese, this delightful sauce. But wait, there's more. I'm probably a little liberal with the cheese. It's probably more than a half cup. But... All right, so that's there. Now I have here a tablespoon of melted butter, and we're gonna put a half a cup of breadcrumbs, or a third of a cup, sorry, I misspoke. A third of a cup of breadcrumbs in the melted butter. Okay, 
and get those all buttery. We're gonna put this on top of the cheese and it makes just this wonderful crunchy buttery top. Now we're gonna pop it in our 350 degree oven for 35 to 45 minutes. All right, there's our timer. So our chicken divan just came out of the oven. While it was baking, I made some rice on the stovetop. I love to serve this over rice, so I'm gonna show you how I plate it up. A lot of people, um, in fact, the first time I had this recipe, it was just like this and I ate it and I thought, oh my gosh, one other thing to add to it would be having, having it on a bed of rice. Super excellent, delicious, and it really makes for the whole full meal. So let's get that plated up. So I've got this little bed of rice or a big bed of rice. And this is a little tricky because you have to kind of wiggle around the broccoli and the chicken. So I can do it. Oh, darn it, I didn't do it. Should have got a bigger spoon. Mmm, oh my gosh, this smells so good, you guys have that crispy, cheesy top. You've got the broccoli, that delicious sauce. And this really does feed a lot. I mean, look how much that filled up the plate with all of that. Yum. Ooh, it's so hot. Let's take a tiny bite, though. I want some broccoli. It's so it is so hot. Nah, I'm going to blow it off. I know it is going to be super hot. It smells so good. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. One of my favorite things about this is that hint of curry in there. And if you don't like curry, I still think you should try this because it's not like curry overload like you'd have in an Asian dish. It's just a hint and it adds so much flavor to it. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn the bell on for notifications. I really hope you try this chicken divan with your family and your friends, or just make it for yourself. You guys have a great night and enjoy your dinner. Have a great day. After like a, a break? it feels like a long break. Didn't we shoot last week? We did, but it still <laughs> feels like a break. Good, Good job. Good job, Buffer. My lips look dry. You look fabulous, like every time. Go every ahead, time, and then I'm time. like, my stuff is crooked. So the first thing I did, we're gonna turn on the oven today. Put that back, put that back. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do is no way. No way. Chicken Devon. I'm gonna start back again. This here's your front camera for chicken diving. Oh. Gonna taste good, I know.